Or we're uh, going to uh, show you uh, WinLink setup and WinLink application. A couple days ago, I got an uh, email from a friend of mine, K1AG Augie in Burlington, who's active with uh, Ares and WinLink applications. And the idea behind this uh, drill is Ares likes to see who's out there using WinLink and tries to get as many people to participate in this exercise. Within the last couple months, I've been trying to figure out uh, VHF and HF WinLink, and uh, it's, uh, it's a fun way to uh, start the uh, month. So uh, I'm just looking at this email now, and it says you can use any connection that you have uh, available. That usually means VHF, UHF, HF, or uh, Telnet if you're just you know, looking to do it on the internet so folks can uh, participate. Um, one question I always ha had with, with the nodes around here, particularly the VHF one, uh, on the mountain uh, is a state police mode, W1SP. People you, who use uh, DMR are pretty much familiar with that. It's a digipeter and eye gate for DMR. But I never knew whether it was uh, functional as uh, a WinLink node uh, K1AUG assured me that it was and he had been using it so that motivated me to figure out what I was doing wrong rather than what they were doing wrong on the other side. Sometimes when you go around some of these amateur applications some of them just don't work and well it, that's what happens when they're maintained by individuals or clubs sometimes. I mean their uh, efficiency or, or, or uh, overall health uh, is, is not happening. But essentially what uh, WinLink is, is an RF to internet bridge. So we're going to be sending RF signals out, AX25, um, through the uh, Digipeter and iGate on uh, Talcott Mountain. And that will be converted into digital signals which go through an internet bridge um, and hopefully go to our destination. I, I, I'm kind of fascinated with... Uh, the notion of like uh, to use a football analogy like being on first and ten you know that's where we are with uh, uh, RF signals and making a jump to connect to the internet and that's really something you can do kind of efficiently with uh, one link in areas say even if you're offshore um, where there is no uh, cell service or internet and there's a surprising amount of uh, spots in North America, uh, United States, and Canada that are without, you know, as extensive a cell surf as, as here. And it, it's a way to jump uh, uh, to to the internet through an alternate means. So I've, I've always been kind of fascinated by that. I, I like the fact that there are certain nodes in ham radio that are kind of net adjacent. And, and I think, uh, whatever, just think that's interesting. I'm going to show you what uh, equipment we're using here. It's a Windows 10 regular Dell laptop. Obviously, that's running Winlink, Winlink Express and Sound Modem. Uh, I'm going to have uh, links in or under the video to both of those programs. Uh, those are important. Uh, let's see here. Got a USB cable running straight to my ICOM IC705. The IC705 has an internal sound card, which is really fantastic for digital modes. The ICOM IC7300, IC7705. Uh, have most of uh, most of uh, the the digital sound card uh, capabilities uh, installed already. Uh, a lot of folks use external uh, digital uh, sound cards. Signal Link is the most popular one. I've never used that, but I'm sure there's folks in the club that are more uh, familiar with that than myself. And that goes straight out. The small antenna here is a tram, uh, 2 meter, 440. Uh, so pretty, pretty generic, but uh, good quality antenna for uh, that type of application. I'm also including a link to the uh, terminal node controller. Terminal node controller essentially, uh, this one is software based. Uh, and uh, it uh, encodes and decodes the uh, AX25 signals uh, between uh, WinLink and uh, the radio. Um, 
going to need to find the template we need to use. So what we need to do is open the message window. We have to create a message. Obviously, if you want to send one, um, there are templates. The uh, Aries has asked to use one of these standard templates, so we will click into that. Um, I think those are under General Forms. I will pick that. And let's see, WinLink Check-In Text, that's the name of the one we need. Interesting, you notice that opened, and it doesn't open like a normal email. What it does is open a, um, a window in Windows 10 or whatever Windows, Windows uh, respective uh, uh, operating system you're using. You fill it in, and then it standardizes the uh, the input into a uh, uh, exportable uh, type of uh, email format. And they've asked to uh, fill in all the fields, so you can see. First, we start with the date and time. Uh, status is exercise. I'm guessing we're going to be sending this, uh, like I said, through W1SP, which is a VHF frequency. So we'll uh, mark off VHF, and the mode is going to be old school packet. Um, destination KB1 O uh, KB1 OVQ, um, and those are my call signs. Uh, location uh, decimal GPS coordinates. If you don't have anything that uh, can show GPS, uh, Google. Maps can do that simple enough, and once you have those coordinates, also it'll give you the the military coordinates and the grid breakdown. And at the bottom is uh, actually the the message that we're carrying uh, or passing this evening is going to be a New Year's resolution. So I put uh, I would like to resume uh, making uh, UHF and VHF satellite contacts at a more reg regular basis. And uh, I'd like to do uh, FM and single sideband. That's been my goal for a while that I haven't gotten to. So that'll be my New Year's resolution. Um, and we'll uh, get ready to send these. I just thought I would run through uh, the proximity of uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, node, uh, the State Police W1SP4. That's right on Talkit Mountain. You can see where I am. This is an APRS shot from... APRS FI. I'm just directly to the west there. That's almost exactly where I did the transmission from. Uh, you can see the next closest one is southeast of where my car is quite a bit. Uh, you'll see it says Department of Motor Vehicles and there's W1AW. I don't know whether that node is functional. I haven't had uh, any luck with that yet. Um, but uh, if we look there's another APRS uh, register site here, and it has proximities of other beaconing stations, uh, and it has W1SP at 3.2 miles uh, from my location southeast. Um, interesting. But uh, that's uh, to give you some type of idea of how close uh, this particular node is. Like I said, you know, there, there is HF um, nodes, and you can go, even with a, a, a low-powered radio like my own, get into, like, Maine, Vermont, and there's uh, any number of uh, HF nodes there. Uh, the idea being if you're in an area that's affected by some sort of infrastructure problems you can get outside of that and you can uh, get your message through uh, an alternative way. Uh, out in the vehicle now. Um, it's dark. Um, but uh, we're going to go into open session right at the top of the tab here. Let's see. Open session, pack and win link. That opens our sound modem uh, TNC, and it also opens a session window. So we'll see if we can't get something going here. Actually, first, we'll look at channel selection. You can see the closest one to us 
it allows you to pick a number of channels, but uh, four miles away is W1SP. I think I mentioned that once before, State Police, um, right near uh, uh, W1CWA uh, repeater, our club's repeater. So this one should be quite easy. Of course, designated frequency, uh, 145690. We're good there. Let's, uh, let's give it a go. Looks good. Okay, so I'm back, back here in the dark in my vehicle. It's about uh, 48 hours after I sent in uh, my test to the uh, Aries exercise, so we're going to see uh, what we can uh, retrieve here. Again, we need to open session on packet wind link, so I'm going to do that. Okay, our sound moto opens, our window for packet wind link opens. We have W1SP again. Uh, let me just double check the frequency 145.690 so we'll adjust the radio Forty-five six ninety FM looks good okay bear with me a sec here Start it up. Sometimes the squelch can cut things off, so hopefully that works. Okay, 34 operators, not bad. Um, a brief roundup of resolutions. Never eat until full, always leave room. I don't quite get that one, but uh, get vaccinated. 
All right, so you know you can tell like the it's just a drill and mostly for for fun, but it looks like you know we were successful on this one. Thirty four, thirty four responses, not too bad. I think that that's maybe a few more than last month. Um, pretty successful uh, this evening. Uh, thirty four check ins. I, I checked and there was exactly thirty last month, so few more were added uh, by the Aries folks, that's a good thing. And when these folks check in, usually it's through a number of ways. Obviously we did VHF, but uh, more ambitious folks can do HF, which I've done. And if you're just uh, starting and you want a safety net and you want to participate, uh, Telnet also works. Um, this is not really a new technology, but many hams haven't tried it. so. You know, I, I urge you, you know, if you're interested in this type of thing and working with uh, RF and the Internet, uh, it's certainly worth a shot. And again, any question on setup of Winlink, uh, sound modem, or the operations that we went through tonight, uh, please let me know. Uh, 73, KC1FNM. This is Jim. Take care. Bye now.